we'll go right into um, listening to our key speaker, who of course is Mr. Manohar Mustafa. Uh, Manohar uh, Mustafa is the Bangladesh country advisor for the European Climate Fund, ECF. Uh, if you're wondering how that came to me, it to be, because last time we introduced him differently. Well, uh, his new avatar, um, I, I, I'm guessing that, no, I, I don't think I'm guessing right. I was thinking maybe it's his first big webinar uh, after he's ECF country advisor, but maybe not. Um, so before joining the European Climate Foundation, uh, Monover has been the convener of the Bangladesh Working Group on External Debt. That is how you met him last time. And he's also the General Secretary of the Democratic Budget Movement in Bangladesh. He has completed his Master's in Political Economy from Cleveland State University, USA, and he's gathered great expertise in economic analysis through working in Gono Shahajo Shongstha, GSS, the Hunger Project in Bangladesh, and many other such progressive um, organizations. Monohar Da will today update us on aspects of the energy sector in the recently presented annual budget of Bangladesh 2020-21 that uh, Mehdi just mentioned, which is actually in the process of endorsement by parliament. Monohar Da, up to you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Bidra. And Bidra has said the tone of this meeting, uh, something differently, I love it. Uh, it will be a little informal rather than the typical formal one. So it would be a typical Adda, Bangladeshi Adda, that she has set the tone of. And I love this. I love this uh, format. So, uh, <clears throat> but first of all, let me, let me say something that it would have been better had I not been asked to uh, speak today. Because I am tired of speaking on the same issue for last two weeks uh, in one way or another. So I will be repeating all those as budget has been placed on the 11th of this month and people are raising questions on different aspects of budgetary process, um, focusing on their own sectors. Uh, I have been doing the same. Uh, putting different hats on my head. Anyway, so let me speak on here. Last time on the 2nd of June, we have been talking about external debt and the energy sector in Bangladesh. And at that time, budget was not been placed in the parliament. It has been placed on the 11th of this month. And people who are concerned about energy and power sector, uh, they have seen it quite astonishingly because nothing has been changed from the part of, part of the government which it, it still it is business as usual meaning they have done they have proposed something as they have been doing for the last couple of years so we didn't see any we didn't see that much changes in the budgetary format as far as uh, outlays are concerned and and their policy concerns as well so let me let me share some of those facts and figures very quickly and i would love to uh, i would love to solicit questions rather than answers uh, from your side so let me say something about uh, actually what was what were the major challenges before our, our sector uh, in my view obviously from others uh, there are four major challenges that our power sector has been in for last couple of years. The first one is the overcapacity to produce uh, the electricity. This is one thing. And overcapacity is something quite different. I could show you just one slide about the overcapacity. You will guess something exactly what is happening uh, or what is the current status of, uh, of that state. This is something, just, just look at this piece. You see, I just, I just developed this uh, uh, graph. You see, it starts from 2011 and now it's 2020. It, it clearly shows that our overcapacity in terms of two different aspects, as per maximum demand 
and as per maximum generation. You will see as per maximum demand, it was 499 megawatt in 2011. Now, in 2019, it has, it has come to a peak of 5,971. And perhaps in 2020, uh, I, I didn't get the actual data, that's why I just made it in blank, I just put blank. But in terms of maximum generation, now it is 10,216 megawatt. It's, it's, it's quite unimaginable, even on part of us. Uh, I'm coming back to this. <coughs> anyway, so what we have seen, the overcapacity is, is one of the major concerns before the power sector. The second one is underutilization of the power plants. As you know, even I got the information, uh, information for the last, last week information, it's the 17th of June. There were 45 power plants were kept quite idle out of 146. So underutilization is one of the major problems, major challenges faces our, our, power, sec, our power division faces. The third one is lower level of efficiency. And I, I, I told you the other day, I mean, on the 2nd of June, that our, our efficiency level is very low. And majority of our power plants, uh, over 55% of the power plants operate at lower efficiency, less than 40%. The fourth major challenge before our power sector was fiscal and financial burden that this, that this sector is, you know, uh, as, as the sector is getting so much money from our exchequer. So now it has loans and subsidies from the government side. It has it, it is being increased day by day, and the power division is getting so much money from the government as subsidies or loans. Uh, it has it has gone up to nine thousand. I, I, I would say ninety two billion Bangladeshi taka for the current fiscal year. Uh, this is one of the important aspect as far as fiscal and financial burden is concerned. And one of the important, another aspect of, uh, of this financial pressure is on capacity payment um, for those power plants who we are forced to keep them idle. So these are the four major challenges before the power sector. It has been the case for long. And let's see how uh, this year's budget has come up with considering all those uh, power all the challenges. So it has been shown in the budget document that our budget, this year's budget is kind of used, so, uh, kind of five trillion dollar, more than five trillion, five trillion Bangladeshi data. So this power sector has got uh, 267 billion Bangladeshi data. And the especially electricity division or power division got uh, 200, 48 billion. Uh, and what we have seen that this in this uh, fiscal year, there would be 88 different power related projects that would be implemented by the power division in this fiscal year. And majority of those projects are basically continuing projects. I would rather say 40% of those projects are continuing projects. It means it has started later and still it continues. And 28% projects are carryover projects, and there would be 31% projects that would be ended. That's what we call the concluding projects, would be ended during this fiscal year. Interestingly, there are no new investment projects uh, seen in the budget, particularly for this year, except one technical uh, project. So, considering all this, since the amount of money it has got from the uh, national budget is quite significant. It, it is more than 3% increase from the previous uh, year's allocation. So we don't see any uh, significant changes uh, that we have been talking about during the last um, <coughs> couple of years, couple of months. And that, we have one uh, minute more, Manu. Sure. So considering all these, uh, we, have, we have some clear observations. One is this power division, I mean the electricity division, needs to reduce its financial burden owing to overcapacity related costs. 
as those have fiscal pressure on the government. Second thing that what we have been we have, we have observed that renewable energy based power plants are limited in numbers under the public sector power plants. So this is one of the area that uh, government should pay particular attention to. The third observation is, or suggestion is, should be, government should renegotiate with development partners and private sector regarding redirecting resources for implementing clean energy projects uh, for, for quite understandable reasons. And government should make a clear exit plan for the quick rental power plants and should gradually phase out those projects. Uh, this is one of the important observations that, that we should offer as a recommendation. And government should renegotiate with independent power plants about the terms and conditions for different types of payments, including capacity payment, given the charging power demand, particularly at the time of COVID. This is one of the, uh, and even we ask, ask to uh, no, we consider the force measure clause of the contact between uh, power division and IPP owners. Uh, one of the disappointing thing that we have observed this year that the power tariff is always subsidized. It is revised in February, but interestingly, government has placed a new bill in the parliament asking, uh, empowering the regulatory commission to raise the power tariff more than once a year. Earlier, they, it was, they, were, they were allowed to raise the power tariff once in a year. So this is one of the serious concerns that people are raising their voices against. And the last one is the power division should work more on the overcapacity in power generation in the coming days. Uh, and in this connection, development partners need to approach for redirecting their support, not for coal, but for clean energy based on power generation projects. Uh, and finally, the power division needs to revisit basically the demand for electricity in relation to the capacity of the economy or uh, economy of Bangladesh in general. Thank you.